are now um, on our day um, on our cruise where we were supposed to be in St. Kitts and unfortunately we've just had a cruise where um, this port was also cancelled. I don't know if you can see behind me but the seas are just really rough and the captain was unable to um, to dock. He felt that it wasn't safe and I can say being on the ship it's really been very rough seas. Um, there's some pitching and some rolling and some rocking and um, we're still having a good day but we are of course disappointed um, that Court day uh, was cancelled and that means out of six days that we were supposed to be in ports we're actually only in ports three days out of ten which has really actually never happened to us so it's not the norm on a cruise but I did want to keep it real and let you know uh, what is happening because it can actually happen uh, on a cruise so what are we doing today well it's actually still a sunny day it's actually quite hot the ship is moving so um, again, as I've mentioned in other parts of this video, and I will leave um, the video about seasickness and preventing seasickness, I'll leave that in a link above because you might want to watch that to prevent seasickness. But definitely I would say bring something just in case because you never know. We've been on over 20 cruises and this ship has moved more because of the seas, more than we probably had on, uh, on the majority, at least consistently day after day. So what we're doing today is um, we're basically kind of eating. So we ate at the grill, which is really good. The Salty Dog um, Grill, I think they call it. It's actually super good. They've got, um, you know, your hamburgers, your chicken burgers, that kind of thing, but also street tacos and, you know, chili fries and a few other things like that that are kind of fun. Um, there's some really good pizza, pizza of the day. So you can have that. And of course there is the buffet. There's some different things inside the ship as well, which I'll show you. Uh, probably tomorrow we will do some of the um, the events that are inside of the ship, but today we've kind of kept it a sea day and just um, did some reading um, by the, uh, the pool and, um, and kind of did a little bit of relaxing. There were a couple of pool games, but really not very much because they actually had to cover the ship up, the, um, the pool up with, uh, with netting because the waves were just so much it wouldn't be safe for anybody to be in it. So I'll update you more on the rest of the cruise as we continue to go. We are on day eight of our cruise and tonight is smart casual again. Tomorrow night will be formal. So I'll be wearing something a little bit more dressy but this is actually um, something that I brought for the cruise and it's one of my favorite cruise outfits just because it's really comfy and I like to wear it as the cruise moves on because it's also a little bit loose. So as I kind of cruise and over the days we eat a little bit more, I just find to bring something that gets looser as the days go is, uh, is well, it's what I do. So I think it's a good tip. So I'll show you this. So it's just a little one piece, um, little strapless jumper. I do end up wearing, or a jumpsuit, I do bring a little sweater for my shoulders because sometimes I get cool in the dining room. So I just have it just in case. And so I'll show you the side. So I think it's like very simple. And the back, so very, very simple. And I have a couple of shoes that I could wear with it. But these neutral uh, Calvin Klein wedges just seem to kind of keep it very summery, but also go with everything. So I'm wearing that. Um, I decided to wear, I don't know if you could see it, gold jewelry today. So simple gold hoops. And this uh, is also a simple necklace with a little hamsa. I like that. Um, I decided to change up the ring and go with something more blingy. That's that cubic zirconia ring that I bought at one of those sales that they have in the middle of the ship a couple of cruises ago. And then um, here I'm wearing my uh, the vintage ring from my grandmother. And I actually don't have my eternity band on right now. I'm gonna go pick that up and put that on. I wear that all the time. And this is my tennis bracelet. That is also uh, a Sikorsky crystal one. So that is what I'm wearing tonight. I'll add in a picture of what Frank is wearing, but he's wearing a polo and jeans. We've actually been more casual this cruise than we have been on some others, but basically he's been wearing either um, a pair of khakis um, in the evening time or jeans and a polo shirt for the evenings, except for the first formal night. And then he has um, a suit for the next formal night, which will be tomorrow. 
So we are just heading downstairs now. We're gonna head over to the martini bar and have maybe a little uh, a little drink before we go for dinner. And then soon after that, we're gonna go for dinner. We're gonna do dinner around eight o'clock this evening because we did have um, some food late in the day by the pool. As you saw, it's been really quite rough uh, today in particular, but it does seem to be calming down now. So I'm hopeful that that'll kind of continue. We have two sea days after this. Um, hopefully the dinner will be as good as it's been um, like almost every night. I think we had one night that we personally just weren't super wild about the menu choices, but every other night on this cruise has been really excellent. See you later. <laughs> Perfect, now it's on video on YouTube. On YouTube now. <laughs> look around for a place to sit and this is just before dinner where we decided to have a little bit of coffee for Frank and a little bit of wine for me. I also want to show you the ATM which is just beautiful. They've taken off some decorations that they had earlier in the week that personally I don't love very much and I much prefer it. That looks great. Thank you very much. So what kind of soup did you end up ordering? It's a chilled coconut soup. Oh, and okay. it has three ingredients in it, um, yes. or three spices. And yeah, three spices. So there's cardamom, cumin, and coriander. Okay. And it's with coconut milk or coconut water. I can't remember. Okay. I believe so, it's coconut chilled, water. And you decided to get this? Yeah, it's chilled. Another, another chilled soup, so I thought I would taste it. Okay. You look like you like this one. So is it something that you would recommend? Um, if you like cold soup, you might like this one. There, there is some taste to that. I thought, you know, I, I think it's all together, like the ingredients, like the mix, it, it does taste good. Okay, well, but that's great. Almost better maybe if it was a warmer soup. I don't know. But for people who like chilled soup, as you said, yeah. you are ordering the chilled yeah, soup. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting taste. It's, uh, it's good. Good. We are now in the piazza, in the center of the ship, or the atrium. And 
here we have the beautiful wine bar. Just something to note is in the evening time, you can actually get tapas and sushi included at the wine bar with a glass of wine. So that's a little tip for you. Here we have the area that you can book a future cruise or apply a deposit on a future cruise. And of course the internet cafe, which you can actually just get some help uh, with setting up your medallion net if you need. And as we walk around at deck five, one of uh, the favorite spots is the International Cafe and the Good Spirits Bar. And here at the International Cafe, you can find your coffee, which you can buy a coffee package if you like. And you can also find uh, included many pastries, sandwiches, soups, salads, um, different things available at different times of the day. good shopping here. And here you can see there's a shop, it's called Calypso Co. And one part of it is clothing and souvenirs and that kind of thing. So we'll head in, then I'll show you the other part for the things you might need if you forgot to know. And they have some pretty cover -ups. Also in the piazza, we've just made our way up here now 
And this is again a couple of other shops. Uh, there are some jewelry shops over here as well as some perfume um, shops as well. And uh, so we'll just head in quickly before we tour the rest of the Hi. Good, how are you? Hi. So you can see here we have the perfume area. So here we are now at Bruner's, and this is honestly one of my very favorite places to be on the Crown Princess. And at the end, you'll see that there is a piano at the end times. There is a piano player, and it becomes a great piano bar as well in the end. Now, on the Crown Princess, one of the really nice things about it is there are actually four pools. We're looking at the Sanctuary Pool or the Lotus Spa Pool. This pool is actually included. Now, there's no extra cost despite the fact that it's in the Sanctuary area. If you do head into the Sanctuary area, though, there is a cost to spend either a half day or a full day in that beautiful area. the stars pool which is pretty popular both during the day and the evening there's stadium seating and being honest there's almost always a way to find a lounge chair uh, it seems on a sea day somewhere on the crown princess Here we are at the Neptune pool, which is also the main pool, and the band is often playing here, and there may be some pool games and some ice carving demonstrations. A lot of the main things that are going on, the activities, happen around this pool. There's also great food and great bars. It is our second to last night on the cruise and it is formal night and it's also like the captain's night where there's a little um, get together for past passengers. So we're going to that now. So this is one of the dresses that I have that's kind of a classic that I've had for probably a couple of years and every couple of cruises I do end up wearing it because I just find it kind of nice and it's super easy to pack as well. It never wrinkles and it is Calvin Klein just to let you know. So it's just kind of simple but I think it's pretty. It has a little slit on the side and it's off the shoulder with a little ruffle. So that's the dress. So that's about it. I am wearing these um, sort of gold sparkly shoes that seem to go with everything. I'm keeping my jewelry very simple. I just have my eternity band on one hand and I have the vintage ring on the other and I have my um, sort of white gold bangle with the crystals um, in it, and I like that. And then I'm wearing my Kate Spade earrings. That's really all I have tonight, and I'm wearing this wristlet um, rather than my black beaded bag, just because it's ready to go, and we are in a rush tonight.
Mai clar că nu e nici nimeni, să răziți să-mi băieți, să răziți să-mi băieți, 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 să-mi băieți,